Hello. In a few minutes we are going to start the third round of the World Cup. So far I've met two players from the last Polish Championships who ended up last and first respectively. And now the Spanish player Daniel Pastor. As you can see I am higher rated than him but he's by no means ignorable on the first round of this year's online World Cup, he defeated uh, Harib Flores from Spain. And if it says you anything, then you already know he's unignorable. If it doesn't, well, join the community, look at the ratings and then it should start saying you something. We'll wait for a while until my opponent shows up and we're starting I'm not extremely happy with this hand, but I have martial plan, so this should be a good response to the Comecon trap I'm seeing now. He doesn't have socialist governments, because I have it. So let's play one, two, three, one, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because now Marshall plan gives me plus two in Italy and secures me against Comic Contrap, I guess. <laughs> the question arises. Some people claim that Comicon is the weaker version of Marshall, but it's much, much more useless. The question arises now, uh, which of these four non-battlegrounds should I ignore? And my answer is, I am ignoring Greece. Turkey is important for Cuban Missile Crisis and access to Syria. UK is important for special relationship, Canada is important for NORAD, and Spain Portugal is important for its African adjacency and France Italy adjacency for uh, some realignments and Russia. Greece is also important, of course, uh, for uh, uh, that uh, Tassos lives in Greece. And without Tassos, we wouldn't have any of these great tournaments. But the importance in real life doesn't really match the importance on the map. Wait, what? Over control in Austria? This is something I can't understand. Okay, I do understand he didn't want to give me any effect of independent reds. But damn. Okay, now as to my hand, I have to deal with many cards that way or another. So, decal goes to space race. Socialists are going to be UN intervened, but waiting for blockade or Nasser UN intervened, maybe. I'd like to lower DEFCON right now. Having no better cards to do it, I'll do it with special relationship. I'd like to keep this card in hand because 
now NATO can't be played without activating it. But well, okay, so now that I did it, the priorities are Korean War, have it done, and then pump it. Now, am I able to deal with all the inconveniences? If he doesn't lower DEFCON now, maybe I should play Vietnam Revolts and coup Vietnam. But then I commit myself into Vietnamese play for a long time. Hmm... Okay, if he wins the war, I'm going to no to not to Korea. He won the war. So Malaysia, Indonesia to stop the immediate threat in Asia and to prepare the opportunity of playing Vietnam Revolts, I eventually have to play it. I have too many bad cards to avoid it. Pakistan or South Korea? South Korea, both, yep. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> So UN intervened Nasser, goes to Malaysia, and this was already a commitment. Decor goes to space. Maybe I should have risked Vietnam revolts and a coup. But I have no follow-ups, that's a problem because socialist governments will have to be self-repaired if possible, because if he gets me off Turkey, they just can't. The China card... I don't believe this could have been a good move. Space time. Hmm. Okay. He didn't want me to dominate Europe, but he could have scored Europe earlier without me dominating it. Because so now I can quite freely play socialist governments repair whatever damage he does. Okay, if he has blockade, I screwed up. But not well. I just didn't want to give him Thailand that easily. Turkey? Okay, if now goes now if I get blockaded, I'm just losing uh, one in West Germany, but it's repairable. Maybe I should put one in France and one in West Germany. Uh, because other than blockade, I intended to secure France a little more anyway. On the other hand, cooing would be desired. Defcon at 5 isn't something I'd like to see. For example... Okay... <laughs> 
for example, if he plays the goal followed up with Italy realignments. So I have to give it to him. Therefore, I should risk going here. Okay, so it's difficult for me to fight against Asia. But purging him with such a hand as I had n have now is a very good idea. I got three four op cards. The only four op card he may have is US Japan Pact. <coughs> with a little luck, I can even win domination in Asia. It requires Pakistan and India for me and not losing in the Pakistani war. This is a bunch of requirements, but certainly doable. All in all, it's much better than I drew Asia than had he done, drawn it. That's a drawback, of course. Yep. Truman looks promising, but not too much. Mm -hmm. I should probably counter. The best I can have is Iraq. So let's do it. I'm not sure about the hold card. Maybe the Cambridge 5 to avoid it being redrawn soon. Norad, hmm, that's interesting. Distal influence? My friend. Not the thing you often see. Maybe I can give back the China card to him. Too soon to do such things. Ah, let's play NATO. That's safe containment for a while. <laughs> anyway, he still may have blockade. Middle is scoring, yeah, that was predictable at some point.
<laughs> okay, I can't win in Asia other than that, so let's attempt to do it. I can't win anyway, but if he has seen Dopaki, it's time for him to try it now. Mm -mm. <laughs> so now the question arises, what should I do with this containment? I think... Pakistan can wait, but Thailand should not. And two in France would be advisable. Hmm. Okay, I got this tall. He got decal. Maybe I'm lucky enough to grab decal from him. I'm not. <coughs> the China card influence into Pakistan. Hmm. That's somewhat weird, I'd say. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not an easy fight for Asia. But let's attempt. To perform it to some point. <coughs> if he coos, I can... Suez Crisis can be played with no hesitation by me. Okay, I lost control over UK for a while, but th that's not the end of the world. <coughs> so my idea is, I'm going to show him that I have no Uh, scorings, lower defcon, earn milops, and make use of NORAD to stop Asia temporarily. <laughs> he has no time for Indo Pakistani war. Because if he fails to win it, I simply take Pakistan. And he shouldn't probably afford it. So it's a kind of stalemate there. Plus I believe he should have some problematic cards. Factors okay, all right. So now I'm gonna give him Suez Crisis to trigger. Uh, 
and I'm gonna play it all in Taiwan, stopping his domination Asia and making Formosan resolution a potentially useful event. Now, US Japan is slightly problematic from he, for him. Mm. He played it anyway. Making absolutely sure. About his domination. I have one more attempt to stop it. He invested a lot in Asia, but it may pay off. Okay, let's resolve event first. <laughs> Hoping he doesn't have a 4 to take France right now, because I'm playing the entire hand, so won't be able to use Truman. Kind of bluff, yeah. <laughs> Investing in Asia continued. Okay, I keep investing in Europe. He has Indopaki and what? Oh, and Zikol, of course. Oh no, I had decall in the first turn. Uh. Hmm. Okay, this hand requires some thinking. Hmm. Bear trap is of course tempting. Very tempting. Cuban Missile Crisis is tempting too. Let's bear trap. Kunta was also tempting, but okay, so he got out on his first attempt. Containment was not tempting because I have too many cards playable for events or 
maybe not maybe it was tempting but it's also a nice idea to save it in case I got from gamma I probably can't make use of special relationship and NATO so I can just use spatial relationship for a coup. The problem is the best targets to coup the only targets to coup are on the Middle East and none of them looks really good. I won't be cooing Israel. Come on. Maybe I should play Fidel and coup Cuba. He can't have CIA, but just in case he had grain sales. Yeah, let's do it. Always a good idea to keep him busy. And I think now it's time for some sneaky play like one to Colombia, assuming that if he coups, I play Junta to Venezuela and counter coup Colombia. Maybe colonial regards should go first. will over control in Afghanistan is a huge exaggeration. Let's follow my idea. Colonial rare cards are more or less useful than appear. Ooh, that was huge. Cooling where? Say what? Okay. I don't understand this one. Okay. This was a misclick. Well. These things also happen. Thank you for watching and see you next time.